Fred and Chris show. show. You know, when Lourdes had cancer over a decade ago now, I'm proud to say, yes. happy to say, um, we, we looked into it, we did some soul searching on the best way to, to cure Lourdes' cancer. And what we found was that when it, what it came down to is that there are three categories that people fall into when approaching, and, and later we discovered not just cancer, but like life in general. Pretty much anything. It really. It breaks down to the three different categories. Option A, option B, and option C. Option A people um, are, are pretty much most people. Indoctrinated into a belief system that the doctors have their best interest in mind and that the doctors know all. Uh, option A people tend to feel relieved that the doctor is taking care of their symptoms and their problems and they don't even have to worry about it. They can get on with, with other things in their life. Option A people are the people who just go to the doctor, get diagnosed with whatever the, feel, the illness is, and whatever the doctor tells them, they follow it to the T, to the letter, without questioning it, without thinking, is there another way? Just whatever the doctor says, he's the doctor, she's the doctor, they know what they're doing, and they leave it at that. So, we've even learned by many doctors yep. that actually have said to us, and to many people that will listen, that in the schooling, when they're being trained and taught in school, they're told flat out, 50% of what we're teaching you is not true. It's up to them to figure out what works, what doesn't work, and you know what's true for them. That's so, why it's practicing medicine. Right. My mom's a retired nurse, and her favorite phrase was, that's why they call it practicing medicine. We're, yes. They're practicing. Uh, option A people are the type of people that if a doctor said, with your diagnosis, I would recommend getting naked and standing in a, in a fire ant nest, and they would be like, well, that's what the doctor prescribed. Here I go. Yeah, so it's pretty much... They don't ask any questions. I mean, they may ask questions like, well, how long will it take? Or, how, you know, things like that. But never will they say, hey, is there a better way? Is there another way? And what will the, you know, what are the pros and cons to what you're saying to me? And how many people have survived statistically? And do you have information for me to look at so that I can look at both sides so that I can make an informed decision? You know, as far as we can tell, just interviewing all these people, option A people don't ask if there are side effects to what's going on. They're not asking what the success rate is. They're not. They're certainly not asking for a second opinion, which I don't know. Seems like one of one. I think you do want to get a second opinion when it comes to something so severe, but most people don't. And this is what we hear from option A people. Uh, we've done a lot of interviews, so that's we're speaking from what we've what we've discovered. Option A people will say that their doctor is the best doctor. He absolutely loves me. Yeah, actually, every person I've met that are option A people, their words are, oh, but my doctor is such a sweetheart. He really does care, or she really does care, or she's so kind. I really, I love her, or I love him. I haven't found one that says something completely opposite of that. Every one of them that's 100% behind whatever the doctor tells them, that's what they say. And it makes sense because sure. in the training, you know, it's a business. You have to know how to speak to your customers so they feel that you care. So they feel that, hey, I'm in the right hands. I'm going to listen to this person 100%. They're caring. They're loving in their words. They're, they're telling me this is the thing I need to do. And I believe them. He cried with me. Yep. He held me. She held me. They really cared. And that's probably yeah. true. That probably is happening. And I'm not saying they're not empathetic. But this is, this is the thing about, doc, about doctors in general. Doctors are trained a specific way. Yep. And bear in mind that not too very much in the past, in the, in the distant past, doctors were trained and then trained the next level of doctor and trained the next doctor and trained the next doctor. And here's some of the things that doctors at one time believed. Leeching was good. They would bleed patients yep. in order to cure them of their ails. Um, some of the other weird ones that we heard about were... Um, well, the ble the zapping of the brain. Yeah, right, <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah, right. Um, hysterical women um, were treated really poorly. I'm not going to get into it because it's kind of graphic, but but if you if you look up hysteria in general and where the term came from and hysterical women and where that came from, these women were basically tortured. Now, these doctors believed they were doing the right thing by their patients. Yeah. Never mind, they became, you know, like a vegetable. Their brains were fried. Yeah, the lobotomy was a big thing. Yep. That, that Again, if you wanted to look into the, the history of the lobotomy, I recommend it. I encourage yep. it. It's, it's, it's scary because the reality is that this, these doctors that were performing these lobotomies, the shock therapy, the leeching, um, the bleeding, um, they weren't 
bad people. Yeah. They weren't evil. They weren't like in a corner. <laughs> they weren't maniacally wringing their hands. Just some. <laughs> perhaps. Perhaps. Yeah, perhaps a few of them. Perhaps even true now. So, so the thing about doctors that you have to understand is doctors are trained in a certain way. And, and, and in, a, in a later episode, we're going to kind of get into what happened to doctor training and how we got away from herbs and, and got into yeah. big pharmaceutical medicines. But there is, there is something about this that you're, you know, you're touching upon Ooh, is touching. that um, when they start zapping or cutting or bleeding out and stepped away from nature, right? Figuring out, okay, what is the body missing? What's the off balance going on that's, you know, that's happening in the body? Because there's an imbalance. Whether it's in, in your, you know, your minerals, your nutrients, your vitamins, whatever it is, there is an imbalance there because our bodies run on that. So instead of going to that, you start cutting or zapping. Again, there's nothing that our body needed a zap for. But now there is a, a, a truth to something about when I've read up on tetanus, mm. right? When you get the tetanus shot. Again, why are we taking something that's synthetically made in a lab that our bodies don't register synthetically? Our bodies are natural. We need one whole form thing. So one of the things is like, like if, you know, you got, um, they give you tetanus shot because you cut yourself or something happened. But if you just let that bleed out, I was reading that bleeding, and I don't mean like bleed out. I mean just the little bit that comes out of there. Actually, whatever's there kind of gets rid of it. So that's the whole purpose of when you get punctured stuff, there's bleeding going on, but the body kind of go, okay, I'm open. Uh, there might be an issue, and it bleeds out. You clean all that out, and you're fine. It's when you try to inject something and go, but in case, you know, you did break skin, it's just a little bit of blood coming out that actually removes, and there's more into it out there discuss it more in depth. One thing that you're going to learn really soon, and something that I've come to know about my, my beautiful, talented <laughs> wife, is she will she will go a different direction than we thought we were going to. But <laughs> it's useful information. So yeah, so going yes. back to option A yes. people, which is where we were. But I was talking about the A you brought, you brought up bleeding. I, you out, know what? That so. was my fault. I opened the door. So I had to I make didn't sure, think she was going to walk I in. I wanted to make sure there is a, there's, she there's sat a time down for and everything. Made dinner. Yes. <laughs> so, so the thing is that option A people, um, a lot of them overwhelmingly felt relieved that there was somebody else taking care of their problem yes. for them. And, and they certainly didn't believe it was any of their responsibility. Um, option A people will and this is this is true for literally we learned in all aspects of life but option a people just basically want to be told what to do and and whether they want to admit that or not they mm -hmm. feel relieved when they when they are yeah well like they don't have to take responsibility but it's interesting because when we get to option C, they want they want to take the responsibility. She's all she jumped yeah. to option this one. Yeah, she wants to go but to option C I'm like, already. And didn't even touch on B, but yeah. yes. We're just gonna skip B today. <laughs> well, we can talk about B. So yeah. option B people, uh, what we've discovered dealing with uh, several interviews when we're making a documentary mm -hmm. and just kind of doing our own research, uh, option B people, um, they're the they're the people who do nothing at all. Option B people are those who go. Oh, well, so I got that. I'm not going to do anything extra. I'm not going to see a doctor. I'm not going to do anything for it. When it's my time to go, it's my time to go. That's God's will or my will or I don't really care or I'm too old or, you know, you name it. So Ashen B people really don't care. They just don't change anything in their life. And unfortunately, Lourdes and I both have Option B people in our families. But Option B people are the people that look at this as God's will. And the irony, of course, is that they feel like it's God's will that I receive cancer. I'm not going to do anything to change it as they continue to eat processed food and smoke a cigarette and, um, you know, other poor habits. As a side note, God put us on this planet to thrive. God wants us to be healthy and he wants us to be amazing, which is why he provided literally everything the body needs. But that's just as a side note. Option B, people are just going to let life happen to them. They're the type of people who, option B people are the type of people who have ailments and, and they know it's got to do with the fact that I'm old now. And you see it all the time. Lord has touched up on it. It's, it's got to do with like this culture that I'm old and so now my back just hurts. And that, that's option B right there. Super Digest is an enzyme that Dr. Daniel Newsom created because he understood that that's one of the things that are critical when it comes to your health. You need your enzymes to break down the foods like protein, fats, and carbs. Well, he has the strongest digestive enzyme 
formula in the market. Yeah, the okay? strongest. The strongest. It's got 10 types of active digestive enzymes to enhance the the digestion of what proteins, fats, carbohydrates, you want to get all that out of there, as well as pineapple. This is going to this is a, a $10,000 <laughs> word. Pineapple <laughs> proteolytic. Proteo. Proteolytic. Pro pineapple proteolytic and enzyme. Enzyme and papaya proteolytic I'm enzyme. Gonna, we'll try to say it real fast. Pineapple proteolytic enzyme and papaya proteolytic enzyme. Yep. And it's good for you. And it's good for you. So the enzyme helps you break down the food, which yep. helps you then take in the nutrition, which helps you then stay healthy. And everything that this man makes, trust, is because it's he did the work, he did the research, and he made sure that everything he does, and every ingredient that goes in there is at its best, 100% amazing, and that's him. We can't speak highly enough about this guy, and that's not just for grins and giggles. Like, legitimately, he's one of the nicest guys yes. we've ever met. He's got integrity, he's got, he's got fairing. Um, Which is why you'll see him throughout the show. Yeah, it, and he's our in-house doctor. Yeah. And, and the reason why we, we, we liked that we have been able to partner up with him in that capacity is because he's super duper smart. Yeah. Like, I'm not, and not just smart though. You know, he's got the biggest heart. He's just amazing. Wait till you hear his story. The guy is just. Oh, out I, of this I world. don't know. I, I think he's also kind of tapped into the divine, and that's why he's so smart when it comes to this stuff. Yep. And, like he's, I think he was. He's he knows his life mission. He was yeah. he was here to make lives better for people, and I think he's following through yep. on it. And then he's got this amazing wife, Gina. Yeah, oh, she's my fantastic. Gosh. We like, love her. Like, really, seriously. We love them. I mean, we can't say more than because they really, they're just amazing. And wait till you see their story. Wait till you look at their products. Wait till you try their products. We Everyone very, should have, actually have this. We're very nearly stocking them at this point because they're just <laughs> that amazing. Legitimately. Yeah, just yeah, just really fantastic are. people. And, and, and he did the work and he, 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 he's made these products that amazing. So that's yeah. why we're talking about Super Digest, the strongest enzyme formula available on the market right now. So make sure you guys get it today right now go on there today there's the link that we're sharing you see it do you see it do you see the link you want to click on that bad boy and get the super digest and just you know help your body help you man help your digestion help you yes <laughs>So we got clear that option P, B people, they don't want to have responsibility. They're like, nah, I don't want to change a thing. But either way, like they don't even want to go to the doctor. They're, they're, yeah. they're, they're the type of people um, that will have a growth and they'll be like, well, that's interesting. And just move on with their life. <laughs> And they just don't. They just don't want to address it at all. And I was, I was surprised by how many people were that, that were like that. And actually, yeah, my you grandfather know, was like that. I was my just grandfather. Say, on my, a sad note, we had family members yeah, who were options. My, my grandfather actually, um, he had cancer for a very long time. He had stomach cancer. And what was interesting is that I happened to be in Puerto Rico at the time. I was a teenager. I think I was like 15, 16 years old. And he would be in agony, like not even the agony that he was in would get him to go to the hospital. Like for him, it's like, I don't trust doctors. I don't trust anything on there. And he didn't change a thing in his diet. He didn't change pretty much anything. But it was funny because I remember at night, I was trying to go to sleep and all I kept hearing him was making this, oh, this, this horrible agony. Like he was just a sound of death, right? And he was bleeding. I mean, like he was puking up blood. He was pooping up blood. It was just like blood from both ends. And I finally had to get a neighbor and have them like pick this man up and put him in the car because he did not want to budge. So we get there and honestly, they were just like shocked that he was still alive. And they pumped all the blood out of his stomach. And um, that's when we found out that he had uh, stomach Advanced. cancer. Advanced. Yeah, yeah, stomach cancer. Again, he didn't do any treatments. He didn't change his diet. He didn't change a thing. He didn't go to the doctor to do check. No, he was like, that's good, done, that's what I got. And he lived a good 10, 15 years after that, no treatments or nothing. But um, that was his way of thinking. It was like, I'm gonna go when I'm gonna go. I'm not gonna change a thing. Option C people are the people who find out what's going on and then they wanna know why it happened. How can I fix it? Are there other things I can do outside of what I'm told. Have other people done it? Were they successful? What worked for them? What didn't? And then they start searching and reading books and looking at studies on the situation that they're going through or the product or whatever it is. But that's what 
Option C people do. And Option C people, once they know what helped them, they share it. Option C people are the, what we call the responsible option. Well, option, B, option C people know wholeheartedly that they're the ones that are responsible for their own health. They'll do their research, they'll get a second opinion, a third opinion, if they've even gone to the doctor in the first place. And I'm not saying whether they should or not go to the doctor. I'm saying that these are people who realize that there's something wrong with them. And then they start looking into and doing their own investigation as to why there's something wrong with them. They take complete and utter responsibility for what's happened, uh, for why they are the way they are, uh, and they look at the cause of what has occurred. And so option C, people will alter their course, change direction, uh, cut bad, bad habits, bad processes out of their life. Option C people, in, in life in general, option C people are the type of people who know that they're responsible for their own path. So here's an example. All right, so think of the tree, right? You got this tree with the branches and the stump and the leaves, and then you got the root system and the ground. So you have this tree. And the tree in the ground represents um, your health. And, and for the sake of this, this conversation, let's say the tree is a, a leafy tree. So we're gonna look at the tree, like in the middle of the stump it says cancer. And then you got the branches. And in those branches, you got different types of cancers, right? Breast cancer, lung cancer, brain cancer, stomach cancer, you get the gist. All these different cancers are branches off of, uh, at the base of it, just the cancer. And with that cancer, there's a little smaller branches that are like, a, you know, more of a specific, uh, Hodgkin's, not Hodgkin's lymphoma, um, leukemia for blood, that sort of thing. And then the leaves of the tree are actually the rare form of cancer. Option A people look at that and say, okay, what do I need to do? Whatever the doctor tells them, cut, burn, poison, that's what they do with the tree. Well, option A people... Uh, what they see is a uh, that branch that's got the cancer on it. Say it's liver cancer or, or you know lymphoma, which is what Lord has had. And they go, well, there's something wrong with that branch. Look at the leaves are dying. It's twisted. It's gnarled. It's got it's got growth on there. It's, it, it shouldn't be doing that. Option A people will be told by their doctors, let's cut that branch off, and they'll do so. And when that doesn't work because it's spread, option A people are then advised. You know, your only option really is chemotherapy. And what we equate that to is like pouring gasoline on the roots of the tree. It's poisoning everything, even the good stuff. Um, it basically kills all healthy tissue. Good, bad, it doesn't matter. Ch uh, chemotherapy does not care. And then when that doesn't work, the medical professions will tell their patients, it's time for us to burn this tree down. To nothing to ashes, and now that you're just withered to death. And what that is, is radiation. And it is as destructive as it sounds. In fact, if you were to go to the uh, cancer, uh, cancer websites, the Cancer Society of America, uh, one of the side effects of chemotherapy and radiation is more cancer. And that's a fact, look that up. So that's the tree. Option B, people look at that tree and go, eh. So that's what it is, this is my journey, this is my life, don't care. It happened for a reason, and I'm okay with how I'm going to live my life this way. Option C, people look at that tree, and they go, huh, now, how did this all happen? And then they go, and they look at the roots, and they look at the root cause. And then they figure out what's going on in that dirt, right? What's going on in that body? It might be missing nutrients and minerals and such. So then they start putting those things back in to help those root systems so that the body then heals and gets rid of those symptoms. So option C people look at the root cause and then find what helps that cause so they can get rid of those symptoms. Option C people know that they can keep their whole tree and they don't have to sacrifice anything to get there. Dr. Newsom, our friend of the show and our in-house doctor has another product that we really, really love. It's called Inflamagon. Yes, Dr. Newsom's Inflamagon, comprehensive, one of a kind, powerful anti-inflammatory botanical formula made with it's called curcumin. Yeah, from organic turmeric root. And he actually gets that from organic turmeric root. Yep. It's freeze-dried uh, it Frankenstein's oil. Bound. Did you say Frankenstein's oil? How do you say it? I say, okay, 
It has freeze-dried frankincense oil. Scent, for the love of goodness. Can you imagine Frankenstein's oil? Did I say Stein? I said Good. Steins. You know what I mean? I'm saying. Mm, fire <laughs> bad. Inflammagon. Good. Joints feel better. I know why sometimes, okay? Okay, so it's got freeze-dried frankincense oil inside of there, and it's actually bound to Dr. Newsom's unique uh, fulvic acid and, and humic human, acid yes. formula. It's maximum absorption, anti-inflammatory actions. Guys, when it comes to inflammation, that's where disease thrives on. I mean, we're talking from cancer to bone disease to... If you've not seen it yet, Dr. Newsom has this great um, conversation that he has about inflammation and he uses a particle board as an example. We'll try and get that, that video up for yes. you if we haven't already. But, but basically, it's just like inflammation is, is where, where problems happen. And what's happened in the industry nowadays, and, 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 it, and we're all dealing with inflammation in some form or another. Yes. It, so, so what's happening is, it's arthritis, but it's also not arthritis. Uh, psoriasis is known as an inflammatory disease. Um, uh, lupus, um, What's, it's fibromyalgia, yeah. it all falls underneath this umbrella of infl inflammation. So uh, that's why Dr. Newsom created Inflamagon. And, it's, and it's, it goes in line with, with everything else he does because it's just the best quality that he could possibly do because he legit gives a hoot. He, he does. Else. But it, this is the thing. It's, it's Everything he's created comes from the best quality of ingredients so that you have the best results. And his stuff is amazing. I mean, we know that inflammation can cause cell death. We know that inflammation can cause cancer. We know inflammation, like he said, he, you saw the list. It's very long. So when you taste something that's anti-inflammatory, like Inflamagon, that's something that you wouldn't have to really worry about a lot of things. It's all natural, all organic, from nature, made from the best ingredients, from the best guy that could have put it together, and it just keeps you healthy. Organic turmeric root, yeah, I mean, Frankenstein's honestly. oils. Oh, stop it. Frankincense oil. <laughs> so it's just, it's just yeah. like, yeah, your body knows what to do with all that, and that's our point. Yeah. That's why you're gonna wanna buy Dr. Newsom's Inflammagon. <laughs> yes, that's what we want. We want you to buy the best so that you can stay healthy. We only support and talk about and really push things that we know you and know, trust that are good for you. And this we, is one of them. When we came up with the concept of the show, one thing that we, we agreed on from day one is that we're going to vet all the people that we promote. We're going to vet these people because it's important to us that we're not misleading people yep. down the wrong path. And that's why Dr. Newsom is so amazing because his is, is absolutely top of the notch, the best product that you can buy. Yep, which is why we... So, so look into Flamagon. Uh, stop dealing with that inflammation, man. Get the Inflamagon. Yeah. It's the best that you can get. Yeah. Dr. Newsom's Inflamagon. And by the way, inflammation causes pain. Most people are like popping pills because they got pain. It's true. But if you take Inflamagon and you're getting rid of all that inflammation, you really don't have much for pain. You know, I had a, I had a relative who said once, you know, I'll just keep taking my ibuprofen. And one of his doctor friends said to him, well, let me know how your kidneys react to that after a certain amount of time. So. Yep. It's like, yeesh. But you this one need, is like... You don't your, need your kidneys anyway. Yeah, who needs them? <laughs> you know, and this was like your kidneys They're like... Rated. So, So with Dr. Newsom's Inflamagon, you, like, your body knows. It's like the kidneys are like, come on in, baby. You're good. I got you. The, the liver's like, no, no, nothing to see here. We're good. Legit. Well, because when you use nature and it's got the nutrients your body needs and it recognizes, it starts working. And, and it, it, this is the thing. These nutrients and these uh, ingredients that he uses, it's what the body needs to get rid of inflammation. So option C people are amazingly approachable when it comes to how they cure themselves with cancer. When Lourdes was first diagnosed with cancer, she specifically reached out to certain people that had cured themselves um, of cancer. Um, they were glad to share their information. They were glad to share their truths. And yep. one thing that we learned is that there's a lot of demand for people to know more about this. So we wrote a book. Uh, the book is called Our Journey to Option C. You know, Which you can find yeah. in Amazon. And we have it not just in Amazon in English, but we also have it in Spanish, which is Nuestro Viaje a Option C. So. We'll, we'll put a link down in the descriptions, but yes. but the, the reason why we wrote that book is because there was a lot of people that were reaching out to us at once, and, and, and it's clear that this information needs to be shared. Yes. Now, just a little bit about my background, just so you understand where I'm coming from. Uh, I mentioned before I'm not a doctor. That's actually true. Uh, I'm a writer, director, uh, actor. Um, you know, we're, we're creatives. Uh, and, uh, but I was also the skeptic in Lourdes' life. I wasn't for any of this. I believed it was nonsense. I believed that she was... at 
ironically, I believe that she was risking her life to to do this. Ironically, I believe that she was crazy and looking into this. Mm -hmm. And the thing of it is that she had to kind of turn me around on this. And now I understand the truth. And so if you're sitting there with any sort of level of skepticism, I feel you. I was there. Um, this felt weird and felt crazy because I, again, was plugged into the matrix or as a part of the part of the indoctrinated masses that believe, you know, that option A is the way to go. Um, so I mean, we've had we had a lot of arguments. Like he was just it's in like, the, it's in the, I have a lot of failings as a husband, actually, when it came to this, and Lord is, uh, and I have worked through those, but it's in the book. I mean, um, uh, I, I, I'm trying not to be, I'm not trying to candy coat it or give you rose-colored glasses, but there were a few times where I was just so animally against Lourdes' decisions that I wasn't much of a husband at all, and, and of course I've turned that around, I would like to think, but... But the thing of yes. it is, yes. but the thing of it is, is that that if you're skeptical, if this seems like craziness to you, then I only urge you to keep an open mind and to look into it, find find the truth within us. So after Lourdes and I released the book, Our Journey to Option C, a lot of people gave us feedback that they want just a brass tax. Give me what I gotta do, what I gotta do to start yeah. now, and that inspired Lourdes to, and this is Lourdes with us herself. Yes. So then I bought. I bought. <laughs> she bought it. Well, we did buy it, but oh, she yeah, brought yeah, it. I was, yeah, but I did write this book, a three-week step into a healthier you, um, because you can turn your health around within three weeks if you follow it step by step. And some will go, okay, so does that mean I only do this? Well, it's three weeks, right? So each day of each week, there's one thing that I have you do. So in the morning, you do one thing. The next day you do something in the morning and in the afternoon. The, the, the third day you do something in the morning, afternoon, but there's always something added in ingredient. So you're still having your lunch and your dinner and whatever you usually do, but you're just adding this into it so that by the third week, you've pretty much pushed a lot of that bad stuff out and you're putting all this good stuff in. But you feel the difference immediately. I had many people who, um, especially with inflammation and pain and all that, um, it turned, they sent me pictures and stuff, and I had saw the before and after, and you saw them. Because a lot of times people just think that overweight means that you got all this fat. A lot of the overweight is inflammation. She's going nuts again. So this actually helps you get rid of that. So all that inflammation, you start dropping a lot of weight quickly, but only because you're getting rid of the inflammation. That's weight as well. So some people go, oh, that's not healthy to lose 11 pounds in one week. But they did, and they weren't sick. They didn't feel weak. They were so nourished. It happened to me when we went to Optimum Health Institute. Well, yours was in two days when we yeah, went there. Yeah, it was like within a couple of days, I was already down 11 pounds. And yeah. it didn't feel like that should be so, yeah. but I felt amazing. And he didn't feel weak and yeah. lightheaded because no. you're not starving yourself. It's a, yeah, yeah. It's a, it was a cleansing, nourish, balance, cleanse approach. Uh, Optimum Health Institute, yeah. look into that. Uh, obviously, that's it's in the Again, book as well. Again, we don't. <laughs> and we're not getting anything to say we're not, that. We're not that's pay for that's any just of us wanting you to do what's yeah. best for you. Unless they want to. Yeah. Again, <laughs> OHI. But anyway, but so, so this is what we did. And in our story, we share our whole story of what we, you know, our ups and downs, everything down to the things I did, the things that I didn't do, the things that I tried, the things that worked, the things that didn't work. I have links in the book, well, in our book, in the back, where you can get the stuff that, we, that I did. Um, books that I read, everything is on there. Again, I don't get paid for any of the people that I mentioned in there, their books or any of that. But it was helpful to me, which I felt it was it would be helpful for others that read the book as well. So that book is very informative. Um, it really takes you on a ride. And this one gets you straight into the point of where you want to be when it comes to your health to feel quick. I mean, it's like it's just a quick shot in the arm how to saturate yourself and stay healthy. So three week step into a healthier you. And that's also on Amazon. on Amazon as well. Yes. Um, it's it's not like we're guaranteeing that this is the one path. We're saying look at this path because. Yeah. Um, you know, some people have cured themselves with other other means, yeah. and 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 that's the Very thing true. that we found out that there's a there's a there's a massive amount of information information and available treatments. and treatments available to people. Um, you know, if and it worked for them, and that's yeah. the thing that's amazing. Yes. It, it it works, and and so we're try, we're saying give option C a try, yep. come to the option C side. Um, and you can always go. You know, take your your beliefs that you've had for so long. And stick it right there on the side and just check it out and try it. Because it's not like, it's go, like your belief is going to go anywhere, right? right? But you might learn something new. I mean, you know, and, and, and I like when somebody will say, well, I asked my doctor and the doctor said, I just want you to try this on for size. 
How does a doctor give you advice on nutrition? Or any supplement or any of those things that they, for one, never tried themselves. They never said, oh, no, no, I took these patients and I tried these supplements and stuff and it didn't work. That I can tell you they didn't do that because they would lose their Well, license. they quote studies and we can go down the rabbit hole about the fallibility of studies. Then, yeah. And, well, know. but they don't do studies on, natu on natural stuff. Well, it's like... But there are studies that you can find out there, especially if you go on to the Brave Browser on certain um, supplements and certain herbs and stuff. And we they can talk about break the FDA yeah. as well, but we're not going to do that this yeah. episode. Yeah, no. They're the ones that are. They can't regulate market. celery, and there's a reason. I mean, yeah. you know, come on, people. And who's the one that actually started the FDA? Big Pharma. Yeah, okay, yeah. We, we can go to it. Anyway, so that being said. No, I wasn't joking when I said it before. Lourdes and I are available for live talks, and, and we absolutely love to do it. We're, the reason why we did this is because we want to reach as many people as possible, and that's always been our... Our goal is to reach as many people as possible and to change this conversation surrounding health and cancer and, and, yeah. and chronic diseases. We don't, we're not put on this earth to suffer. Um, we're not put on this earth to, to dwindle. We're put on this earth to thrive. Yeah, and, and always remember, our bodies were meant to heal. It, oh, and you can, you can test this out by, if you're not off balance, right, and you're not, something's off and you got diabetes or whatever, but if you get a cut, well, don't cut yourself. But, no, if you, but if you get a cut, like yeah. you scratch against something and, you know, you bleed or whatever, it does scab over. You didn't do anything to make it scab over. You didn't do anything to heal. It just healed. So you can tell that our bodies were meant to regenerate and heal, and it does. If you're giving the body the right components, you will heal and you will regenerate much quicker than if you're just waiting and it's, still, and it's still trying to go through all the crap you got inside the body to finally really heal. But, um, I mean, you know, because even when um, anyone's gotten sick or something. Okay, right? so I got colitis. I got okay. diagnosed with colitis. Wasn't going to go down this path. We're going to start cutting some something out seriously because it's getting too long. But I got diagnosed <laughs> with colitis um, wow, like, 15 uh, years ago, maybe. No, 20 years ago. About it was 20 about years five ago. years before I got sick. That's right. Yeah. Um, I was bleeding profusely um, from um, the back rectum, door, yeah, the yeah. rectal, rectum. Yep. Um, the doctor did a test and she said, this looks like cancer. So of course I freaked out. Um, went to get another test done, a colonoscopy. I was too young for a colonoscopy, right? I wasn't even yeah. in my 40s yet. Um, and they said, no, you've got colitis. And so right away they said- Severe. They, they said I had severe colitis. Yeah. colitis. Um, and, and right away they said that I had to, they gave me a prescription that's going to help, but the caveat was I would forever live with colitis. It would be my, it would be my there life. No, there was no, no cure in it. This um, is you have to be take so. this for the rest of your life yes. because if not, you're risking getting cancer, on and on and on. Now, before I took that I prescription to get it filled, Lourdes said. I said, babe, because I, I had just, uh, I always call him, babe. Um, I always try to find things that may or may not help. It's just been my, my thing. But I had just gotten into this uh, product called Sunrider, um, which I'll share the link. But it's all cellular food. And my friend introduced me to it. And I'm like, oh, I'm not into MLMs. And I've tried many things. It was the first one that not only did I enjoy the taste, mm. but I saw results within days. Not like it took weeks or months, to be honest. It's, and... Then I understood it's because it was at a cellular level. It was at a pre-digested state. So it's not like your body has to break it down. Once you drink it, it goes into the system. And it's great for working. cancer patients for that reason, too. Yeah, it's very amazing. So I said, try this. You know, and after 30 days, if it, you don't feel better, then get the prescription. But within the fifth day. Yeah, by the fifth day. Um, it all went away. My colitis cleared up. Completely. Something they told him that there was no cure for. Yeah. And he just did the, the, the nourish, balance, and cleanse on this protocol of Sunrider, the, the products, the Vita Shake, the Kali Tea, the Virgin Light, which again, I will share on there. You'll see the description and stuff. But the fifth day, he no longer had the cramping or the pain. He wasn't going to the bathroom and seeing, you know, the toilet full of blood. It was just like it stopped. Yep. And that was like 20 years ago. And 20 years later, it still I'm has fine. not come back. I'm fine. And so um, it's funny because it's one of the things that I had done and I was always good. And we'll go into that thing when we get into the discussion of cancer. But And then I stopped taking it. And, I, and when I look back, I should have never stopped taking it. Yeah. Which is why I still take it to this day. Yeah. And many other things. But All right. We are going to have to definitely do some editing. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, we'll get to the point. 
this is our, our first uh, episode. We will share other stuff in here. Let us know what you've done because we, we are very interested in what you've yeah. done to take care of yourself and, and to get yeah. yourself turned around. Because other people are going to read that stuff. And the more knowledge we can gain, the better off we are. My mom yeah. has a saying that she says, the only thing that she can take with you is knowledge. And if, you, if I had to give up everything right now and walk out of this house, I would have my knowledge available to me. So. Yes. So, and this is the thing, too, is, is, is keep in mind, this is our first episode, but each episode is going to be specific to one thing. We right. just wanted to break down the option A, B, and C. Yeah, we went a little nuts today. Yeah. We wanted to give you guys the foundation. So watch the Lord is a Chris show every Thursday at 7 p.m. Pacific time. 7 p.m. Pacific time is when you're going to catch the Lord is a Chris show. Almost so specific that it's Pacific. It's specific. How Pacific, <laughs> it, how Pacific the specific is. Yeah. So watch us. Get great information. <laughs> Great information. Great information each week. Every week on uh, Thursday, you'll, you'll, okay. Catch the Lord is in Chris show every week. No. <laughs> the Lord is in Chris show drops every week. No. The yep. Lord is in Chris show drops every Thursday at 7 p.m. Yeah. Pacific time. Yep. So you can watch it on Thursday or you can watch it any day after. Right. But Keep watch watching it. it. You yep. watch the old ones, watch the new ones. Yep. But the new ones are every Thursday at 7 p.m. Yes. And share with everyone. Everyone. Get in Getting that information out there. Yep. It's going to be great information. I promise you we are going to have great guests. Uh, just amazing topics, right? Or should I say great topics, amazing okay. guests. Okay. Do it. <laughs> Check us every Thursday. We're going to have... The Chris and Lourdes Show at 7 p.m. Pacific time, folks. That's right. Great topics. Yep. With amazing guests. I'm just saying, this is the tip of the iceberg. Oh, yeah, yeah. And we're going to share things that you can do and where you can get it at. That's right. Yep. Every Thursday. Every Thursday. And then that means that every Friday, every Friday, you're going to be like this a little bit further. Yeah. You're going to be a little bit further along your health journey. Yeah. And you're going to be able to share it with others. And those that can't watch it on Thursday, don't worry. It'll uh, it'll replay the next day. Oh, no. Oh, just it, should just be a, replay, it should just be replaying all the time. It'll just be available you at all You just got to click on it. Well, listen, look, 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 look. It's like this. The Lord is in Chris show is available all the time. Just just click on us and keep watching us because it's, you know, it's a good time for us and we're hoping it's a good time for you. Yep. And we're going to be doing an episode every week, so it'll just so keep that's adding the, and adding. that's what we're getting to. A new episode of the Lord is in Chris show. A new episode of the Lord is in Chris show every Thursday at every 7. Every Thursday. Every Thursday at 7 p.m. Pacific at 7 time. Pacific time. Pacific. Pacific. Why Every I, Thursday. Am I saying Pacific weird? No, you're saying it fine. Every Thursday, 7 p.m. Pacific time, the Lord is in Christian. Why does it sound weird when you say Pacific? I say I sound weird? No, I don't know. It sounds, maybe it sounds weird when I Pac say Pacific. Pacific. Say pa Pacific. 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 <laughs> it's weird. Just watch Okay, but 7 p.m. Pacific time. Pacific on Thursday, 7 p.m. Pacific time, the Lord is in Christian. <laughs> Pacific. <laughs> Dr. Newsom spent nearly two decades, two decades perfecting this energy generating powerful formula. Super Earth Energy. Just, we should have an image up there. Super Earth Energy. Yeah, we have that, yeah. Yeah. It'll be there. Super Earth Energy. It helps to improve what uh, adrenal and muscle fatigue, um, chronic, uh, Chronic fatigue. Sure. Compromised immune compromised compromised immune system. <laughs> sleep. Sorry. Sleep deficit. Yeah, the sleep deficit. Oy. Okay, so <laughs> the super earth energy. Earlier today she said super earthy energy. And I thought, what is that? <laughs> Do I feel Earthy? Earthy. But no, it's super earth energy. And Dr. Newsom, can you imagine spending nearly two decades of your life perfecting a, uh, a, 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 formula, that. a formula that helps people with like sleep deficit problems, uh, compromised immune systems. Low sexual desire? Yeah, let's not, let's not overlook that. I mean, I overlook it because I don't have a problem with it, but <laughs> no, I'm just, so, I'm just saying it's one of those, and, and that kind of goes hand in hand with energy yeah. as it is. Because look, if you don't have energy, you're just not... That's not yeah. even a thing in your thought process. Yeah, so I think it goes hand in hand. And so this kind of takes care of the fatigue and the draining feeling and the just overall like... That sleep deficit though, that's something that I'm, I might, I have problems with that every now and again. Me too. You know, just, well, 
Well, guess what we're taking. Please. Yeah, guess what I'm, <laughs> guess the word that, and we started taking the super earth energy for that reason. So it's just one of those things where like, we're yeah, right now as we speak. Yeah. Um, you know, the thing of it is, is that, that um, everybody could use a little pick me up energy. And in this world, I mean, I, my, my yeah, most dear, people go to like coffee or well, energy drinks. My sister's like, what, two pots a day now or something like that? Yeah. Oh my gosh. She can pop some Now, stuff to be fair, my sister's an amazing woman and she yeah. loves her coffee. And, she and, does and, love her coffee. And that's one of those things where, like it's her culture. So, and a lot of people have kind of adopted that, but can, can you imagine Not if she stopped, it? like stopped like a light switch? Well, many people actually end up with headaches. We have a very close friend of ours. She's a screenwriter producer who, who decided to give up caffeine altogether, right? And he was one of those uh, two pots a day kind of guys. And he wound up with, a, with like a, a chronic head, headache for like two oh, weeks. Migraine, yeah, yeah, he right. just had a migraine for like two weeks until he said he finally got over it and he felt better afterward. But can you imagine having to go through all that? But why get, a, why get attached to something like that when you've got something like super earth energy, which is naturally increasing your super energy? Super earth energy. Did I not say super? No, you said he said super energy and a super earth energy. I ate the earth, he but was I hungry. said I said super <laughs> earth energy. This is what I said: super earth energy. The point is super earth energy. There you go, baby. I knew you had it in you. The good Dr. Newsom, our in-house doctor, actually spent nearly two decades. Yep. I mean, let that sink in. Nearly two decades. Wow. Perfecting this formula. But Why? That, because he cares about people. I was just going to say, that doesn't surprise me. Look, yeah. look at the source. Of course he spent nearly two decades perfecting this formula. Because that's how much he cares. And, he really and, does. You know, chronic fatigue is something that people, when they, those who are suffering with it, uh, you know, I can't imagine. It's just you're in a yeah. perpetual state of being tired. Well, how many people have insomnia? I mean, yeah. I'm just saying. That's what's... Uh, so. And then with, the, with everything that's going on right now in the world, I mean, that, that probably the is happening to more level, and more yeah. people. So, yeah, and, and then the low sexual desire. Like, that's... Again, some people are struggling with that, so it all goes hand in hand. So, yeah, go ahead and get yourself some super earth energy. Get super earth energy if you want to stop this whole yeah, don't, fatigue don't mess. Get, don't get energy, get super earth energy. And it helps the adrenal, like we mentioned, oh, muscle wow. fatigue. Right, adrenal and muscle fatigue. It's, it's good for both of those things. Yeah. Yeah, why wouldn't, yeah, you want super earth energy. So get yours today. It is the best. I mean, honestly, everything this man makes is the best. That's that's why he's our guy. Yep. That's why he's our guy. Super Earth Energy. Super Earth Energy. Super Earth Energy, say it fast. Super Earth Energy. Faster. But when I said Super Earth Energy before, you said I didn't say Earth, and I did say No, earth. he did not. No. If you guys rewind that sucker, you're going to see he said Super Energy and not Super, super earth. earth Energy. There you go. <laughs>